For number one, find measure of angle one in the figure below. Lines PQ and RS are parallel. So when we have parallel lines that are cut by a transversal, remember we have all these special angle pair, um, pairs that have a special relationship. Uh, we know that vertical angles are always congruent whether we have parallel lines or not. But when we have parallel lines, we know the alternate interior angles are congruent. We know alternate exterior angles are congruent. So knowing those relationships, I know that all of my acute angles in this scenario are congruent to each other and are 59 degrees as well. We can see that the obtuse angle together with the acute angle make a linear pair. They make a line together. So we know that li linear pairs are supplementary. So to find the obtuse angle, all we have to do is subtract 59 from 180, which gives us 121. So we know that this angle is 121, it's a linear pair. Here we have another linear pair. Of course, we know the vertical angles are congruent. We know alternate interior angles are congruent. So this obtuse angle is also 121 degrees. So we really only have two different angle measures. All of the acute angles are congruent. They're all 59 degrees. All of, the, all of the obtuse angles are congruent. They're all 121 degrees. And the obtuse and the acute angle have to add to get 180.